So, I hear the internet is going off on Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni has claimed Anakin Skywalker is the greatest Jedi. And naturally, it's got the Star Wars fandom locked in a heated debate. In a video about the upcoming Disney Plus show, Ahsoka, Filoni commented, excuse me, we're telling the story of this character who's been trained by the greatest Jedi of all time in Anakin Skywalker. Ah! Let me stop you right there, pal. Yeah. Now, if I know anything about the internet, especially Twitter, then you say something people don't like, they lose it. it. Says here, Star Wars fans have a lot of thoughts about this, as you might expect. Fact is, uh, Anakin really was the best Jedi. From the Clone Wars to Revenge of the Sith, he was everything that Qui-Gon said he would be. While another has a devastating encounter with Flaherty's claim, lost that 1v1 with Obi, though. So, um, let me see here. Yoda, Obi-Wan, Luke, and a handful of others, known and unknown, arguably have rights to the title of the greatest Jedi of all time, is another person's verdict. But Anakin will arguably be the most powerful Force user and was absolutely not the greatest Jedi. Crazy he's considered the greatest Jedi of all time when he became the second most infamous Sith and helped destroy the Jedi. He was literally, uh, was the chosen one. It's what makes the tragedy of Anakin Skywalker a tragedy. Checked his Jedi resume, and can he please explain the gap between 19 BBY and 4 ABY? Asks another fan. That would be the time Darth Vader was terrorizing the galaxy. Put this quote in context. Ahsoka is the apprentice of the greatest Jedi, the chosen one, the man who was supposed to lead the Republic to victory. Reasons another fan. Anakin isn't the greatest Jedi, but he's supposed to be. And that is what is relevant to Ahsoka's story. I see what you're saying. Obi-Wan's the greatest Jedi in response to Filoni here, but that's also wrong. Neither Anakin or Obi-Wan come close to Luke or Qui-Gon, argues another person. Interestingly, though, Hayden Christensen is reportedly returning for Ahsoka. If you're going to have them young, de-age them properly this time, Disney. Looking old as hell in the other one. Disney Plus show, so we might uh, get to see the greatest Jedi again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean exactly old as hell, but old as hell for what he was supposed to look like. <laughs> While you wait for this series to get up to speed with our guide on how to watch the club. Okay, so... Here's what I think. Anakin definitely was not the greatest Jedi of all time. He had the potential to become the greatest, greatest Jedi of all time. He was potentially the greatest Jedi of all time, but he never reached his potential. Obi-Wan beat him. And we all know if he had a ran in Yoda, Yoda would have killed him. We all know this. He was no match for Yoda. There, he was no match for Yoda. We know this, okay? See, if she, it's even possible that um, Mace could have taken him out. But, um, so as far as the movies go, not counting the last two pieces of trash, and that first one that began, I'm, I, I, I give J.J. Abrams that I liked that one. But, I don't count none of them. They're as a tr as a trilogy, they're garbage and they need to be forgotten, thrown away, never added to, just just uh, elsewhere story. They didn't exist. I don't count them. I don't see them. They don't exist. Now, looking at the six that we got, Anakin definitely isn't the greatest Jedi. Now, how are you gonna? How are some of you gonna say? Well, he is the greatest because he eventually brought balance to the Force. Okay, if you if you want to define greatest as 
stuff like that, certain acts that have shifted the universe and all that type of stuff. Great. That's not how I define it, okay? So, um, Yoda, to me, clearly, we're talking about the movies. I'm not talking about the expanded universe and everything else out there. I'm just talking about the movies. Yoda, to me, is the greatest of all time. The wisdom, the skills, his, his power, his control, his command of the force is just... He was... He's unstoppable, man. Unstoppable, man. Absolutely loved Yoda. Um, shame he didn't get to kill Palpatine. Failed? I, have, I didn't think he failed. I just, you know, I think he could. He, I mean, story-wise, he probably could have found him again and killed him, but he, and he didn't. But um, I love Yoda. Love Yoda. And in the movies, Luke never got a chance to reach his full potential either. So, you know, I don't count the last three. We, we don't count the last three here. Sorry. And even then, just because he projected, no, I don't care. That still doesn't make him the greatest. Still. You know, but I love Luke. I've heard in the expanded universe and all this other stuff, like, he's incredible. Like, just able to just tear apart... You know, Star Destroyers with the Force. He's just, you know, unstoppable. So, from what I hear in the expanded universe, Luke truly becomes the greatest Jedi of all time. Just unstoppable. Just period. Just, you know, there's no debating it. As far as the movies go, my favorite and the greatest Jedi of all time is Yoda. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoy my reaction and thought to this news make sure you hit the like button subscribe and share i truly feel if only it was i i think that he was going with what anakin was supposed to be i don't think that he was going with what he truly thought anakin was but you never know he could be like i said if you're judging it from his deeds he's the worst and the greatest <laughs> you know what i'm saying He's the worst and the greatest. I mean, everyone's going to bring up how he killed all them damn kids. You know what I'm saying? But then he brought balance to the force. There's a certain amount of redemption you just can't get. And that's the reason why he died at the end of Return of the Jedi. Because you don't let a guy like that live. You don't let a guy like that get total full redemption like that. You got to go. And that's what happened to him. 10 million subscribers. Woo!